Hey guys, welcome to your weekly edition or regular edition of uh, Israel updates, um, mostly from the week, the past seven days. We um, start off with something a little bit older actually because I found it interesting. Israeli system instantly turns contaminated water into drinking water. It's really a universal solution for the military, humanitarian and outdoor market, Watershare CEO Yossi Sandak said. Sulis, which is the name of the device, was a Greek goddess connected with water and healing. Therefore, it has also become an appropriate moniker for a new Israeli innovative device which instantly purifies contaminated water. The Sulis Personal Purification System, PPS, takes all the ingredients needed to transform dirty water into clean water, whether it be for stranded hikers, soldiers in the field, or victims of uh, natural disasters, and has miniaturized the technology to fit onto the top of a cork so it can be plugged into virtually any bottle, any size bottle, container, or tap. If you don't mind, this is already clean, don't worry. Above everything else, the product we've developed is going to save lives, explained Yossi Sandak, the CEO of uh, Watershare. The Israeli company, which has developed the Sulis PPS, over 1.6 million children under the age of 5 die every year in the underdeveloped world from drinking untreated water. What we, what we have here is a solution to reduce death in the world that is not a medical solution, but simply providing people with clean drinking water, he said. The appropriate notes are obviously attached for the links. Um, Vice Premier Shimon Peres calls for government company for Peace Valley Project. Sources inform Globes, that's an economics uh, magazine, uh, slash newspaper that Vi Vice Premier Shimon Peres has filed a request with the government company's authority for the establishment of a government company to run on the Peace Valley project. In its letter to the government company's authority, Peres Paris's office stated that the company would not only manage the construction of the pipeline, there was a pipeline to for the Dead Sea, but also join. Israeli and Jordanian ventures in tourism, agriculture, water desolation, which for Jordan is vital, and electricity production. Also included in the project are the construction of a joint Israeli-Jordanian airport at Aqaba, a railway line between Beit Shean and Irbid in Jordan, and a joint Israeli-Palestinian industrial zone in northern Samaria. The government company's authority said it would respond that it in response, that it would take the its, it would state its position on the formation of such a company following consultations with the appropriate ministries. Now, on a s interesting note, Israeli scientists enhance food with centered with a uh, with the scent of flowers. Professor Alexander Weinstein, working at the Hebrew University's Robert H. Smith Institute of Plant Sciences and Genetics in Agriculture in Rehovot, um, he and other researchers from the Faculty of Agricultural, Food and Environmental Quality Sciences have discovered how to insert the scent of flowers into different foods. Um, how to intensify the, the smell uh, of perfumes and creams, and how to create a natural scent with uh, nothing more than a, a small Petri dish. Weinstein, who is a molecular biologist, began studying the molecular mechanism of, uh, of, of scent compounds in flowers out of curiosity. We, he said, we just wanted to understand how it works. Smell is a very volatile thing. Flowers smell differently at different times of the day. It depends if it's if it's hot or cold, um, or whether the flower is uh, young or old. Some some plants give off strong scents, while others have to be crushed before that you can smell them. What in what what interests the chemical and food industries, however, is that researchers have also discovered a way to introduce these uh, these volatile smells, uh, scent compounds, into other organisms such as yeast which uh, has similarities to plants. 
in order to create a bioreactor to produce these natural compounds. Using these um, yeast bioreactors, flower scent compounds can also be introduced into foods such as bread uh, or wine. Um, how would you like some rose flavored bread? <laughs> or uh, perhaps a white wine with a, a hint of uh, carnation. Uh, today's food manufacturers often resort to synthetic scent compounds in foods, but Weinstein's work, which has been patented, will enable them to create and use the natural products. Um, his, his team are working with several international companies in the US, UK and Israel, and have t carried out commercial trials, but he has declined to give details at this stage. He's, uh, he and his uh, team are working on a number of other interesting projects, but unfortunately I won't be mentioning them uh, at the moment. Um, now, Israel is ranked second for EU patent applications in the recent past, in the recent year, I think. Relative to its population, Israel is ranked after Japan for patent applications submitted within Europe by non-European countries, according to Business Data Israel. Nearly 78% of patent applications filed from Israel were through foreign companies. The United States had 111 requests, placing it third, followed by consecutively by Korea, Canada and Australia. Also, Oracle, uh, the massive uh, software firm, opens a new research and development center in Israel. Enterprise software giant Oracle is opening a new research and development center based on its acquisi uh, acquisitions of a, of an is of a Israeli company and Dementra last which was last year the research and development center which approx which ha with approximately 30 employees will develop technology focused on demand driven planning solutions at the opening of the R&D center Oracle announced that it plans to invest 12 to 15 in invest in 12 to 15 Israeli startups this coming year comparing to four companies in 2006 um All right, guys. Um, that's it for the second week. I I, I thought about um, getting one more one more segment in, but uh, to be honest, I'm I'm boiling in this suit. <laughs> it's so hot outside. You have no idea. So that's it for the second segment. Uh, I hope everyone had a happy Israeli Independence Day. Although I only know one or two of my users are from Israel. One or two of my subscribers are from Israel. So. Um, that's the phone. I better go get it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the second edition. Let me know. Write some comments. Let me know how, what you thought. All right. Bye.